So this is the download and upload speed using 5 GHz for your D-Link DWR953 V2 router. Besides setting it up as a wireless router, we have also shown you how to use it as a mobile broadband with your SIM card and how to prepare your SIM card so that the setup will be successful. This is the D-Link DWR953V2. It is a LTE Cat4 Wi-Fi AC12000 router. This is a flexible mobile broadband. With 4G LTE mobile connectivity, it allows you to enjoy high-speed internet anywhere you have a broadband signal. It has high-speed local connectivity, where you can enjoy high-speed local networking speeds of up to 12,000 Mbps with wireless AC, enabling you to share files even faster. It is ready to go. It is pre-configured with global carrier profiles to help you get the most out of your LTE connection. So we are going to unbox this and set it up using the SIM card for the mobile broadband as well as a local connectivity where we will plug it into our modem and show you how to set it up for your home use. These are the items in box. You've got the router, it comes with two SIM card adapters, the LAN cable, a power adapter, a quick installation guide, the warranty and safety information as well as a GPL code statement. At the front, there is a panel of LEDs which gives you indications such as the internet, the power, 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz or even the LAN 123 ports that you are connected to. At the right hand side, you have got the SIM card slot where you can put in your SIM card to make it into a mobile broadband. On the left hand side you've got the power button, the WPS button as well as the reset pinhole. At the back there are two antennas And it has got the power port, three LAN ports, and one WAN slash LAN port. And all these are gigabit LAN ports. We will now show you how to install the SIM cards. We will install the SIM cards into the SIM card adapter before inserting it into the router for use as a mobile broadband. So this is a nano SIM card. Take note of where the chamfer is and install into the SIM card holder as shown. Next, plug the SIM card into the SIM card slot on the right hand side. Install in this orientation. It is spring loaded. The SIM card is now installed into the router. The next step, let's power on the router by plugging the power cable into the wall socket and plugging the other end of the cable into the router. Let's plug the power cable into the router. Plug it into the power port at the back of the router. 
turn on the power at the wall socket and press on the power button on the router to turn it on. After the router has started up, you can see the following LEDs light up. The power LED, the internet LED, the mobile broadband LED is blinking blue, and the 2.4 as well as 5 GHz LED is turned on. You can also see the signal strength LED is now 3 bar. Next. We'll head over to our mobile phone to try and connect to this mobile broadband. So from our mobile phone, we'll go to Wi-Fi. So you can see the 5 GHz and the 2.4 GHz D-Link DWR 953V2 is one of the available networks. We'll connect to the 5 GHz. For the password, you can get it at the label on the router itself. Key in the Wi-Fi password to connect. Once the password is keyed in, tap on connect. Phone is now connected to the mobile broadband. Let us try to play some YouTube videos. So you are able to play the YouTube videos showing that it is connected to the internet. Next, we are going to show you how to connect this router and set it up for your home use. Do note that we have already taken out the SIM cards from the router. To set it up for home use, you need to connect the LAN cable from your modem to the router. You would also need to connect another LAN cable from the router to your computer. And you need to use the internet browser to configure the settings. We'll connect the then cable from our modem, plug it into the white area network or WAN port. Next, use the LAN cable that comes in box and plug it into any of the LAN ports on the router. Plug the other end of the LAN cable into your computer. Finally, plug in the power cable into the power port on your router. Turn on the power at the wall socket and turn on the router. Once the router is powered up, open a browser on a computer and key in the following IP address 192.168.0.1 If you get this prompt your connection is not private go to advance and proceed you need to log into the dealing web browser the username is admin now for the password that is a password that can be found on the label on the router. Key in that password to log in. A password change is required for the first login. So let's enter a new password.
you have successfully updated the password. Use a new password to log in. Again, the, app, the username is admin. The password is the new password that you have just created. This is the dealing web user interface to set up your router and get it connected wirelessly to the network. We'll go to Internet. We'll select Wizard. Go to Next. Go to Next. Now for the Ethernet type, we need to ensure that we select the WAN mode or the Wide Area Network mode. For the connection type, select Dynamic IP. Then go to Next. So you can change the SSID for both your 2.4 or 5 GHz network. And this is the password that is found on the label on the router. We'll leave it as is. Select Done. The setup is complete. We'll unplug the LAN cable from our computer. You'll notice that the LAN 2 LED is now unlit because we have unplugged the LAN cable. Let us now connect to the network. We'll select the 5 GHz network. Let's select connect. Enter the Wi-Fi password. Go to Next. We'll select Yes. It is connected to the network. Let's open a new tab and open YouTube. So it's able to log on to YouTube. Let's do a speed test for this 5 GHz network. So this is the download and upload speed using 5 GHz for your D-Link DWR953V2 router. So this is the unboxing and setup of the D-Link DWR953V2 router. We have just shown you how to use it as a mobile broadband with, your, with a SIM card as well as getting it set up for home network use wirelessly.